Yo, what is going on guys? Matthew B. Hates here, aka the Clock Master. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I know I've been doing like a lot of movie reviews, a lot of reactions to TV shows and stuff. So I just wanted to take a little, this one video to take a little break and do something different. Um, normally when I'm taking my breaks from editing and stuff during the day, I would like pop on something random on YouTube and like, you know, like just have my lunch or whatever. So I'm seeing this thing, Hollywood celebrities shutting down reporters. Um, <laughs> I've seen some videos like these before, but I figured, you know what, might as well react to this. This is a pretty old video, it's from 2016. So I figured I'd just do a little reaction to it. And like, let's just see the nonsense. Cause you know, some of these celebrities, some of these reporters always ask really stupid questions, like really ridiculous questions. And as a member of the press, it's, it's embarrassing. Cause like, my thing is, for me personally being like a film critic and like going and like tv critic and like going to these press events and like going to these q and a's and stuff it, it, it's some of the questions that i hear these dudes asking people is so ridiculous and like i don't mean to like be to like say anything i'm not like calling names or any specific individual out but like this is like why like why like why can't you just ask a normal question so anyways let's just, let's just get into this man um this is completely different from what i do in the channel from normally but let's just get into this man. i just, I just feel like doing a reaction to this and this is, let's just see what's going on guys all right let's do let's do it the original link to this video will also be down in the description box below if you guys want to go show the channel some love by the way do you find it hard for celebrities to talk to their sex to talk to media about their sexuality? What on earth are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> I was referring to an interview given to Attitude magazine a few years ago. But what is your question? I was wondering if you find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. I don't find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. Um, are you asking me about my sexuality? Um, sure. <laughs> Why? Why? Um, Thank you. Okay. So I just wanted to ask you, as you were reading the script, did you ever think, why are all these women in here? I thought this was supposed to be a man's movie. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not for one minute. <laughs> My freaking response. You, um... Oh, God, RDG. The reason I'm asking about the past is that you... You've talked in other interviews again about um, your relationship with your father and the role of all of that in uh, yeah, the dark period. He looks and, pissed and, already. And taking drugs and drinking and all of that. And okay. I just wondered whether, you know, you, you think you're free of all of that or whether that... What? Why are you asking that question? What's I going to do? Okay, let's hear his let's let let's hear his response. What's the guy do for what's up? You can see he's uncomfortable with the question. I was if I was you, I was gonna switch the question up. Why would you even try to get that answer out of him? All right, let's go back. And I just wondered whether you know you you, you think you're free of all of that, or whether that's still something. I'm sorry, you... I, I really don't. Uh, uh, what are we doing? Yeah. Uh, I, well, I'm just asking questions. That's all. Right. I mean, okay, okay. Bye. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. Bye. Bye is a good. I'm sorry. I... Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's say you're sorry. <laughs> like, what kind of freaking question is that, dude? Come on, dog. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Why would you ask a question? That's you know that the dude, you know that he he was dealing with this kind of stuff for a long time. Like sometimes, bro. Look, sometimes, bro. People just be saying stuff. Like, you know he's been struggling or dealing with this kind of thing in his past, and like, just let him be. Like, you don't gotta bring it up. You don't gotta ask him the kind of question. It's too personal of a question to ask in a press interview. Like, like you're you're there to talk about a movie or something. You're not, you're not his friend. You're not his cousin. Like, ah, uh, Jesus. You're not his brother. Jesus, like, come on. Bye. Yeah, bye's a good response. You... Oh, I'm sorry. I... Yeah, you're sorry. Well, why are you Apologize. So sure there's no link between- This guy again? Oh my Why god. Are you so sure that there's no link between enjoying movie violence and enjoying real violence? I don't I well, I'm going to tell you why I'm so sure. Don't not ask me a question like that. I'm not going to I'm not biting. I refuse your question. Why? Because I refuse your question. I'm not your slave and you're not my master. You I'm can't just, make me dance to your tune. I, I I'm, not, I'm not a monkey. I'm I can't not, make you answer anything. I'm just yeah, I'm well, asking and, you interesting and, questions. And I'm saying and I'm saying I refuse. Okay. Well, no, I was just asking you why. That's fine. Um <laughs> But you see, Jamie Foxx has said, we can't turn our... Bruh. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino. 
So it's it. Okay. Back and say that violence in films. Well, then you should talk to Jamie Foxx. Do doesn't have a then you should talk to Jamie Foxx about that. And I think he's actually here, so you can. I'd I'd love to, but I mean, I, you know, it's interesting that you have a different view, and I'm just trying to explore that. Yeah, and I don't want to. Because I mean, I'm here to sell my movie. This is a commercial <laughs> for the movie. Make no mistake. Well, you and I, yeah, yeah. This so is, you don't want to talk about anything serious. I don't want to talk about what you want to talk about. I don't want to talk about the implications of violence. I, I, I haven't wanted. I've been because you know, the reason I don't want to talk about it because I said everything I have to say about it. If anyone cares what I have to say about it, they can Google me and they can look for twenty years what I have to say about it. I haven't changed my eye, my cho my my opinion one iota. No, but you you haven't you haven't fleshed it out. That, that, that's I have been, it's not my job to flesh it out. No, it's my it's my so, job to try and ask you to. And that's I'm all, shutting you know? your butt down. And that's <laughs> that's entirely your that's entirely this your. This is a your, commercial your right. from my movie. No, I know, but it's my job to try and explain. It's a commercial for my Twitter date. <laughs> he got the wrong one that day. This man got the wrong one that day. Oh my god. Well, I'm sure. Uh, well, uh, I, I, you know. I, I, I invite you to explore some serious things, but not things that I am already been on the record for talking but about. Viol well, violence is such a big part of your all of your movies, and it's you know, and it's it's an enjoyable part of your movies for so many people, and that that's mm -hmm. why I'm. Talking about this because you know it's a very sensitive time at the moment. I mean, the vice president is talking to people in the movie industry today mm -hmm. about violence and response. And you know to the, where I stand on to, it, which, which is that there's no relationship. And yes, but you haven't said why you think there's no relationship. It's you just none of your damn you. business what I think about that. Jeez, well, oh my god, and I am saying very no. And I am shutting you down. But you have. A he literally could have walked out. Surely to. Explain a little bit. About no, I don't doing. have any responsibility to you to explain anything I don't no, want to. No, not to me, but to your to your viewers, to your fans. You know, to people who they know care exactly, about what they it is know, that you're doing. They know where I'm coming from, and I have explained it, and I have explained even what you're talking about. I'm just not giving it to you. Why? Because I don't want to. Because I've done it already. I have explained this many times in the last twenty years. I just refuse to repeat myself over and over again because you want me to. Jesus. For you and your show you, you're and your ratings. Okay, well, no, it's, it's not about our ratings. It's, it's, no, no, it is. It is about you want me to say it for you, for your show, this show right here, yeah, right now. Uh, uh, well, look, this is a God. new on a film program, so we explore serious themes. That's the Jeez, hold on. I got to pause this for a second. Oh, my God. This is this is ridiculous. I've never seen this interview. I've never seen this interview with Quentin Tarantino before. This guy, why is he like pressing him? Like I understand, like yes, it's his job to do that, but like, like let's move on to the next question. I don't like I, this is this is this is kind of anyways. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but you want me to do what I've already done before, and I am refusing. So Freeman plays a magic debunker. Freeman, who are you? Yeah, Freeman. I have seen yeah. this one. What are you on a baseball team with him? Yeah, he's yeah. a buddy of mine. Okay, I've seen Morty. this one. <laughs> Morty plays a magic debunker. You know, he uh, reveals these magician secrets. Yeah. So I want to play a little game okay. where you debunk some secrets. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that one. I think what you're doing is you're putting your thumb under your pointer finger. You're bending this one. Can you do it. Yeah, I think it's something like this. Yeah. I'll tell you the problem with the trick is that the thumbs don't look like an end of a finger. You just yeah. have a fat thumb, though. No, my thumb's fine, thank you, but what did you write on your hand? <laughs> Nothing. Well, I saw there was a lot of things. What was a it? A lot of things. Are they questions? No. Are you secretly hiding questions <laughs> for the interview? You're wondering what it's like to work with Morgan Freeman and you can't I remember will, that? Uh, you know. Don't call Morgan Freeman <laughs> Freeman like you're on a Little League softball yeah. team. With him. I heard that you have a, like a snap card trick that you learned or something. Sure, yeah. Um, you brought a card? A lot of cards. Um, do you know the um, comedian Carrot Top? Yes, horrible. Well, um, you were like the uh, Carrot Top of interviewers. Yeah. Gee. Yeah. No, it's a good thing. It's I'm a good go thing. cry because... now. No, don't cry now. Cry after the interview's over, because um, otherwise I'll look like it was res I'm responsible for it. Okay, so. Um, well, you are. Well, I don't want to know that though. Okay, okay well, so you know now. I said your name into camera. What else do you want from me? A magic trick. Okay. All right. So we so... can wrap this up. Hey, <laughs> you're on my time. Okay. Okay. Choose a card from here. Okay. Look at it, ah. obviously. You can show the camera. Oh yeah. my yeah. Romy, yeah. freaking gosh. I, <laughs> I haven't seen the whole I haven't seen the whole thing. Oh 
Oh no, Jesse, why you gotta do her like that, bro? Why you gotta do her like that? Now put it back anywhere in the deck. Okay, gotta, now, do you remember your card? Are like you thinking that? of it? Sure. It's not important. Okay, could you point out where you think the card is? It's, you're right, it is in the deck. Okay, so, so wait, oh, you think it's on top? Yeah. You think it's the top card? Yes. So I'm going to take the top card off, and was this should be your card then? Yes. Really? No. It's not, is it your card? I mean, it doesn't matter. No, it's I mean, not. I don't need to be amazed. I already know how it's done. It's not. Okay, was that your card? Ooh. See? Are you happy you yeah. lied to yes. the point of almost not appreciating that? <laughs> Can I just have you say my name into the camera? Just the word Romina? Well, my name, not a word. And what's going to happen to it? We'll Damn. skip it. I'll do the thing. We'll skip it. But I just wanted to know like, like what to give it. Like if we just broke up. I probably wouldn't say anything then. <laughs> You're trying to find me in a crowded place. Oh, okay. Yeah. Romina. That's it? I would never yeah. hear you. The thing is, I actually didn't want to find you. I was actually hoping to stay alone. She's doing a good. He's too, she did a pretty good job with that. I am not. I'm actually. I'm not gonna lie. I think she handled that situation towards the end. I think she realized like where the interview was going, and realized that he's just not trying to do like freaking boring questions and all that crap. And he's like just baiting her and like Uno reverse card and mess out of her <laughs> and she's just like she's just like she, she did a good job actually i think she did a good job with that one and just kind of trying to like flip the script and just like you know like just push it on and just keep making jokes about it and just just playing off of it man i feel i feel like she handled that situation properly towards the end just like <laughs> she like she brought up the uh she brought up the saying that my name in the camera thing towards the end so that, that was pretty good all right do you think that the uh, public will perceive you any differently after all that's been in the news about you what are you referring to specifically Refer <laughs> referring to the uh you know the uh, drinking problems referring to what's been called the anti-semitic rant referring yeah that's, that's all, all I, those I, things I, you know you know what i'm yeah, talking about uh, okay so uh yeah, that's almost four years ago dude i mean i've moved on i guess you haven't well, I'm just, I'm just wondering if you think that the, the public has, has moved on and will perceive you in the same light. Well, I certainly hope so. You know, it is a while back. And, uh, you know, I've done all the necessary mea culpas. So um, let's move on, dude. Right. Come on. Uh, Edge of Darkness opens uh, today. It's good to see you back in the saddle and uh, doing what you do best. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining us, Mel. Take care. Bye-bye. Asshole. <laughs> oh my god okay guys that's it for this video i i yeah that's it for this video man like that was just i don't know dude i don't freaking know like some celebrities can be a-holes but some reporters can equally, just as equally be like even big or even bigger a-holes. Like, it's just interesting, man. This, this, this film industry is so interesting. Like there's just so many characters that like, so many people I've met that, you know, with so much authority, um, just so many different types of people, man. Like for me, like whenever, if, whenever I speak to a person of interest, like a, you know, a celebrity or, or you know, some cast or crew or whatever, I just treat them like normal people. Like, I don't really try to fish. Cause like my thing with interviews is that I want to ask questions that are meaningful in a way, Question, questions that relate to the, to the subject in a way. Like you, I think like you have to get the vibe of someone um, and understand like, their type of temperament like who they are and like like their whole perspective and everything um because you can clearly see when people are uncomfortable like when they don't want to answer a question or if they don't feel like being there um i've i've, I've been to q a events where <clears throat> you can see that the celebrities just don't want to be there like they don't <laughs> like they don't want to be there they don't want to ask any questions um and they're, they're you know they're only doing it because they have to do mandatory press they have to do like six months of press or like three sorry uh, six weeks of press or three you know a couple months of press like there's just so much that they have to do so they're just like you know whatever i gotta add, i gotta do like four press events today i gotta do this gotta do that yada 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 so um 
yeah i mean and, and then there's also on the flip side there's a lot of other actors and actresses that, that are like especially like newer ones and people who don't get a lot of press they're like they, they love it like they're they want all the questions they love doing six seven hours of press like they just love doing it and um like simu liu like recently he's been getting a lot of press obviously for shang chi and this is like a huge moment for him and he's been loving it as an example he's been loving it and just you know embracing all of that so um and just and the the, the, the cast quite frankly aquafina and a lot of the pressure she's been doing it, it looked like she was just like eh, you know we're doing this i eh, gotta move on to the next thing eh. And like, cause she's been she's been in the limelight for a while. She's she's been she's been doing a lot of press for a lot. Of, like if you look at her press interviews from Crazy Rich Asians to now, it's like a whole different vibe. So I feel like the more you're involved in the industry, the less and less you enjoy doing press <laughs> and dealing with certain cause certain certain reporters just make your life hard. Like they they just go out there and asking like really dumb stupid questions. Um. And just annoy you and then on the flip side you have other people who do press really well and they just get straight to the point they ask basic questions and then they move on so yeah man so anyways that that's it for this video i don't want to make it a whole thing but yeah man <laughs> just felt like doing something different you guys let me know if you enjoyed it if you didn't enjoy it i would not do it again um but i had fun doing this so you guys let me know <laughs> you guys let me know your thoughts down below um on this and yeah man let's get back to the movie stuff more uh movie and tv show reactions and reviews are coming soon lots of stuff i'm editing today so be on the lookout again getting like a lot like a, a few videos of me today so anyways yeah thank you guys so much for watching see you in the next one clock master out